All right, fellow slayers, time for the final episode of Read the Day, which is Bad Eggs. Buffy and her mother Joyce are at a mall discussing Buffy's desire to buy a revealing dress. They split up to do, they split up to each do an important errand before the mall closes. On her way to the store, Buffy sees a guy wearing a cowboy hat, romancing a girl, but also notices he has no reflect, he has no reflection in a nearby mirror. She follows him upstairs, scares the girl off, and fights with him until he runs away. Buffy returns to her mom, but forgot about her errand, frustrating her mother, who then gives Buffy a lecture on responsibility. Joyce thinks Buffy only thinks about boys and clothes, as your grandpa tells her mom that she also thinks about saving the world from vampires, which causes her mother to sigh with, sigh with exasperation. The next day, Cordelia and Xander are making out in a closet, fighting all the while. Xander says it will work better if she doesn't talk, and she says it will go better if they keep the light off. Each gets offended that the other doesn't want to see or hear them. Cordy mentions again that she doesn't want anyone to know about their relationship, and their tempers cause them to start to leave. They reach for the doorknob, but Sabah go back to making out with each other. They fall to the floor, and Cordelia reaches up to turn the light off. Later that day in health class, the teacher asks the students to list negative consequences of having sex, and Xander and Cordy list each other's potential faults as consequences without naming names. Finally, Willow gives the, intense, the intended answer, pregnancy. Mr. Wimmer says that to learn about parenthood, the students will pair off and each, will take, and each team will take care of an egg as if it is their baby. Xander and Willow enter the library with their eggs. Buffy, who has skipped health class, is had an egg that she will have to take care of as a single mother. She also accepts the cowboys from the previous day, Lyle and Tector Gorge, and suggests Buffy should hunt them with Angel's help. Willow scoffs that there will be a little actual hunting going on in such a scenario, but Buffy, but Buffy says they never slack off their duty to get lost in romance. That night, Buffy and Angel make out in the cemetery instead of hunting. The Gorge brothers watch from the cemetery wall, commenting that Buffy wasn't doing much slaying with Angel. While Buffy is sleeping at her home, her eggs break open. Tentacles emerge and attach themselves to Buffy's face. The next morning when she wakes up, the egg is back to normal, and Buffy is grumpy at breakfast. Back at the library, Giles finds Buffy, Willow, and Xander who have been excused from health class because their teacher did not show. Willow and Buffy are tired and sit down on the stairs. And Xander begins to talk his, his egg nonchalantly in the air, as where he looks across Buffy and Willow's faces. He hits the egg and it goes crashing to the ground, but doesn't break. He then reveals that he hard-boiled it. Giles suggests that Buffy should go back to hunting with Angel since last night was a bust. That night, Buffy and Angel are kissing instead of hunting in the cemetery. Or yet again kissing instead of hunting in the cemetery. They stop, and, they stop to talk and the subject of the future comes up. Angel tells her that he can't have children. Buffy says that doesn't change how she feels for him and she sees only Angel when she looks to the future. Aww. Meanwhile at school, the night watchman hears some noise and goes after the source. He finds a big hole in one of the air pipes in the closet. When he goes to investigate, it's pushed through in the hole by Mr. Whitmore, carrying a pickaxe. Later that night, Buffy sneaks back in through a window and sees her egg is moving. She gets close to the creature and say leaps at her face, and drops and scuttles under the bed. She uses an iron as a mirror to look around and sees nothing. It crawls on the floor some more. She grabs her sister and stands waiting for it to show itself. It climbs a little behind her and she kills it, stabbing her repeatedly with the scissors. Buffy calls Will and warns her, but her, hers has already hatched. Buffy smiling comes in, and she sees she is dressed. She grabs Buffy and sentences to no, to no after-school activities, and only go to the library until Joyce picks her up. And the next day at school, Buffy try, Will tries to convince Buffy that her egg must have been a trap set by the cowboys. As they walk in, a little creature from the egg is hooked to Will's spine. Xander, hungry, decides to eat his egg. He cracks it open, but when he's about to eat it, he screams as he sees the creature inside. In the science lab, the gang debates dissecting the creatures. Willow well, volunteers, and moments later, Cordelia's egg wakes up from inside her backpack. She picks up a rod and hits Buffy across the face with it. Willow grabs a microscope and hits Xander. They are thrown into a closet. Willow, Cordelia, and others grab hose and pickaxes. Mrs. Summers comes to the library to pick up Buffy and finds herself having a conversation with Giles about Buffy and children in general. Sally picks up a creature and puts, on her, puts it on her back, turning to her host as well. The two head down to the basement where they begin their work for their mother, Beazar. 
where the other bees are. Buffy and Xander wake up to find two eggs by their side. Buffy smashes them in and they head to the library in search of Giles. They find, they find that he has been controlled by one of these creatures. Just as they begin to find information, Jonathan cries out in pain in the hall. They rush out only to find it now quiet, having I find him now quiet, having been turned to a host. They fall find everyone digging and pulling eggs from their mother Bezar. Santa pretends to be a host, while Buffy fends off the gorge vampires. She hits them several times. They throw her into the working pit. Santa follows Cordelia and another guy. As they walk down a tunnel, he smashes the guy's head into a wall. Cordelia stops to swing at him and he ducks. She hits him right on his bump. He screams in pain and then hits her across the face. Lyle follows Buffy into the basement area where the two, where the two attract attention to themselves, and Will gives orders to have them all killed. Everyone attacks them, but Buffy and Lyle manage to fight them off. Tector summons through the hole now that he's collected himself and is drawn to the mother creature, who grabs him and sucks him in. Lyle blames Buffy for what happened to his brother and throws her to the ground. Joyce takes a swing at her with a pickaxe, and Buffy quickly dodges. But she's pulled toward the bazaar, managing to grab the pickaxe on the way. She defends the mother creature, all of the workers falling to the ground. Buffy comes up Buffy comes up and out of the creature covered in black goo, and Lyle runs off, saying, It's over. As all students leave the school, Joss explains that it's ghastly guess a cover story. Xander tells him to stick with it, promising to fill Joss in on what happened the next day. Buffy finds her mother, who was upset that Buffy had been in the library as she was instructed. As a result, Buffy is confined to her room as punishment. Later, Buffy is again kissing Angel. Leading through her bedroom window, she claims that she's not breaking any rules. Ooh. So now let's take a look at some continuity surrounding this episode. This episode introduces the Gorge Brothers, Lyle and Tector as minor villains. Tector is Eden, but Lyle returns in the episode Homecoming. The physical relationship between Buffy and Angel is intensifying. The villains should have sex in the next episode, surprise. So those states for the first time the vampires are sterile and cannot have children. Ironically, this is by Angel will be the one and only vampire to become a father. Angel says to Buffy, you really don't care what happens a year from now? Five years from now? In a year's time, Angel will leave Buffy, and in five years, the Hellmouth and Sunnydale will be destroyed. Buffy pronounces the name Bazar, a dance she also explained nightmares that will continue in Becoming Part 1, Faith Up and Trick, Potential, Showtime. After these messages, we'll be right back. Free Fall Part 1. This episode contains the first direct reference that Willow is Jewish, although there is a hint, although there is a hint with her last name, Rosenberg, though not obligatory. She'll eventually identify as Jewish Wiccan. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at some production notes about this episode. A promotional poster for the comedy drama series Ally McBeal is shown in the mall. Numerous Buffy alumni will appear on the show, with Zoe Armin Shimmerman, are Metcalf and Sarah Hagen. Lyle and Tector Gorge are also the names of two brother characters from the western film The Wild Bunch. Huh, interesting. So let's take a look at a goof. Jonathan is, is credited as J-O-H-N-A-A-T-H-A-N. Whoopsies! So let's take a look at some pop culture references. Santa suggests well to teach her egg the dreidel song it reference to the children's Hanukkah song, I Have a Little Dreidel. Buffy mentions having killed her Giga pet, a digital virtual pet toy that needs to be cared for to keep it from dying. Xander tells Giles, I suppose there is certain Machiavellian ingenuity to your transgression. The philosopher Nicola, Nicola Machiavelli argued that to remain in power must be truly effective, a ruler must, reju must reject traditional morality and use his power ruthlessly. As a result, the term Machiavellian has come to describe the practice of achieving one's goals by every means necessary, whether those means are moral or not. Oh, well, that's interesting. So overall, I think this episode is kind of unique, and yeah, I like the fact that things are going well between Buffy and Angel, although I think we all know that's not going to last very long, so yeah. <laughs> so overall, I give, I give the episode Bad Eggs, three vampire steaks out of five. But anyway, tune in next time as we till the next episode. Surprise! So, until then, here endeth the lesson.